Shalom and welcome to another episode of Living Supernaturally. We have been looking into God's Word and uh, finding out what are some of our privileges of being a child of God or of being called the children of God. And through the past few days, we have looked at some privileges. And today we have an exciting privilege that we can look into. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give you the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. One of the privileges we have as a child of God is authority. Just like a prince who is an heir to the throne and kingdom, a prince who has that princely authority, we are the children of God who possess divine authority as heirs of God. Now this authority is not our own, but it is backed by the power of God. It is backed by where we belong, by the kingdom of God. Now what is this authority? The authority that Jesus is talking about in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, which we read, is what we call as the delegated power. It's like the policeman that you see who possesses the authority when he's standing in traffic and attempting to stop the traffic with, his, with the authority that he has. He does not do it with his own strength but he does it with the authority that has been delegated to him. And that comes maybe by just him wearing a uniform. And as a child of God, the same authority is what we have in Christ. So you're not stopping the forces of darkness and uh, maybe of sickness or, or fear with your own strength, but you are stopping it with the delegated authority that has been given to you by God in Christ. You are backed by the power of God. So it is amazing to see you know, that God himself is the power behind your authority, which means you and I can step out forward and hold our hand up and bring forth that authority that we have in Jesus Christ. So how do we use this authority? So let's say when adversity strikes, we use our authority by what His Word says, by speaking what His Word says and by using the name of Jesus. For example, if you have been sick, you, you use the authority by saying, sickness, I command you to go in Jesus' name. Um, or if, if, it is, if it is a hardship that you are facing, you speak to the mountain and with the authority that you have, cast it out into the sea. It's like using the name of a president of a company. When someone is entering in, the name gets many things done. It's the same that we have. When we speak the name of Jesus, we speak in authority. And everything that is under his submission, it will flee. The evidence that we have of God's power uh, is seen in our lives when, when we show this, this authority. We, we become citizens, we are citizens of God's kingdom when we show the evidence of His power. So let's walk out today in faith. And as we pray, um, let, let's use this authority to bring down every force of evil. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this authority. And right now, in Jesus' name, anyone who may be watching, Father, who's, who's had a bout of sickness or who's in positions of hardships, in Jesus' name, by the authority that you have given us, Lord, we cast this into the sea. We rebuke these hardships, these sicknesses. We speak freedom in Jesus' name. Thank you that you have given us, Lord, this privilege to speak and receive abundant life. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.